Hello, this is Experienced RC, and today we'll be showing you how to waterproof your servo. Because there aren't that many videos on waterproofing servos on YouTube to help y'all out. I think it's very selfish for people that have shit to not show other people that have the same shit to waterproof their servo, you know? Some people can't figure that shit out, and I mean, anyway. Let's get started. You see, these four screws, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. Preferably get a screwdriver better than this one. As you can see, this one's crooked. Okay, now they are all out. You can see. I'm gonna open it. This is what we're working with, the gears. Anyways, I hope you can see it clearly. Okay, as the water would normally enter through this hole, that's the biggest hole it can enter through. You have a bearing right there. So, we're gonna want to use grease. Be sure to use high quality grease for this job. You're going to want to put it all around this gear because if water hits it, it will not like the mix and it will stop it. You do not want to get too much on the top as that connects to the horn. But put it all around it on the bottom side. Do not be cheap when applying your grease. As you can see, I'm using the whole packet. My mistakes were going off the camera. <coughs> now you're going to want to close it back. <laughs> Insert all the screws.
Okay, as you can see, I have greased it and it's sealed back up. Our next step will be to make some room and make room for the newspaper. You do not want to mess up your table. <coughs> now we will be applying some plasti tip. Be careful. Take the plasti dip and apply it to the lines. You may choose to use the spray, but I prefer this method as you can control and manipulate where you want most of the plastic dip to be located. You want to be sure to get around the wire. You can then cover your whole servo if you would like.
After that is complete, I am proud to say you have waterproofed your servo. Allow four hours for this to come dry. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos on Experienced RC.